Mad Max is a third-person action game based off the film series where you get to drive around in a car, upgrade your abilities by collecting scrap, and complete seemingly endless tasks. And I say seemingly endless because Mad Max is a pretty big game depending on how much you're willing to actually do. The main story itself is pretty short, but very impressive as a storytelling device. Then there's a vast array of side objectives you can do, scrap locations you can loot, and races you can challenge yourself with. It's a huge fucking game. There's a lot to do. Not all of it is fun, though, like deactivating mines to reduce the threat of your enemy in a region. That's kind of boring, and it takes like 20 minutes per region to do, which is annoying. But, I mean, the fact that I made some mistakes during that might have lengthened it a bit. But to preface the rest of this, the story is absolutely fantastic. If you like Mad Max and you want an intense story with the craziest plot twists I've seen all year, this is the game for you. In terms of gameplay, expect combat similar to Assassin's Creed on foot, and car combat similar to... I don't even know what it's similar to. Just imagine a demolition derby where you also get a harpoon to rip things off cars, and these like mini bazookas to fire at them called thunder sticks. It's all very intense and a whole lot of fun. You'll spend your time driving, fighting, clearing bases, collecting scrap and parts, tearing down giant metal scarecrows, Maybe even doing a race or two. In the end, all the mechanics behind everything you can do in this game are solid. When it comes to the gameplay itself, I really don't have any big complaints, but I do have complaints. About four. The first is that there's not really any stealth, so if you move into a certain radius around enemies, they can see you through walls. Kind of annoying, but the combat's also kind of easy, so who cares? There are a lot of metal platforms during some objectives, and the metal platforms are always on uneven ground for some reason. Like, whoever designed this is fucking stupid and should be fired. If you fall off, it's like this annoying process to get back on, especially in the beginning, since the jump key is left control, and they don't teach you that, so you usually end up trying to roll back on. Parrying on uneven ground doesn't really work either. If you're fighting on uneven ground, then you're going to be beat up badly. The parries just don't trigger for some reason on uneven ground. And finally, the third person view is annoying as all hell, because the game likes to put you in close spaces and make you drive cars designed so absurdly that it makes it so you literally can't even see what's in front of you. I hate third person views. I always have, and I always will, and this is why. How do you expect me to see in front of myself with this bullshit? The graphics of this game, on the other hand, are top notch. They're beautiful, really, they are. And I'd love to say the audio is good too, but it just glitches out too much. There's so many sound effects that break when you run around. And occasionally there's sound effects that just don't work at all. The game's graphics and sounds, though, can really help to make the game more immersive, as there's this one point in the story where they try to go for this scary effect that's really kind of well done, but I didn't get scared, but I certainly got immersed into the story more as a result of it. That's just a bunch of mannequins. There are some broken animations too, going back to graphics, especially when executing people. Collision detection with the walls just sort of seems to die for some reason. And speaking of collision, there's a lot of spots in this game where the game just seems to think there's like a giant rock there or something when there's not. I'm not really quite sure, but one second you'll be driving along, and the next you'll hit an invisible something, and now you're flying through the air.
To keep the world alive and dangerous, the game also has these crazy storms that roll in. They're very dangerous if you don't have a well-armored car and fast repair tools, but you can venture into them to find these mother loot boxes which contain a lot of scrap. One time I actually had an entire storm disappear because I ran through an interior in an attempt to get back to the car. Unfortunately that footage broke or else I'd show you, but that was a really weird glitch. It, it only happened once, but it was strange. The storms, when they work, are intense and deadly and help give the game a more dangerous dynamic, though later in the game they, be they become a little routine once your car is upgraded to all hell. Still a damn good place to get scrap. And finally, it's good to remember Mad Max is an Australian franchise. That means the steering wheel is on the right side of the car. And the game likes to insult you if you don't remember that. Have you no remembrance of where the steering wheel is located? It, it cannot be alien to one sent by the angels. Surely you guessed my fate? Overall, Mad Max was a simple game, despite all there was to do in it. There's not actually too much to say about it, because most of it is solid. It was fun, there was a lot to do, I didn't do everything, but I did plenty and I had fun doing all of it, except the mines. Sure, it had a lot of bugs, some of them really frustrating, but it doesn't take too much away from the value of the game. Mad Max gets an 8 out of 10 for me. Those two points missing are literally just due to all the crazy bugs, and there were a lot more than I talked about in this review. It's a really fun game, and if you enjoy this genre or this IP, I recommend it, even to someone who's never watched a Mad Max movie. I haven't, and I enjoyed the game just fine. You're getting your money's worth if you're willing to venture off and do the open world objectives. If you only want the game for the main story, pick it up on a sale, because the main story is not actually that long. Hopefully you found this review informative and helpful. Thank you for watching. Hope I'll see you next time.